What is the first thing that comes to your mind when the word golf is said? A love is to help you out. Something that goes along the lines, elegant, classy, something that the higher-ups are often found indulging in. This brings us to our question for today. Why is it that there is this certain image when it comes to golf? Maybe it's something about the origins of the game? Or it could be even the way the game is played so elegantly? Well, whatever the reason is, get ready to find out in today's video. Welcome back to Luxury Tube. Guys, today we've prepared another interesting video on what is considered one of the most luxurious sports, golf. That being said, let's dive right into the video. Anyone unfamiliar with the game golf would probably label it as plain boring. Well, wait till you find out those words are just out of ignorance. And there's a whole lot more to the game than we can imagine it to be. We have to admit that though the game may include equipment like a bat and a ball, the sport is unlike any other. It has its own special requirements and is definitely not one that can be played in any random location. There are some who are fortunate enough to play in their comforts of their own golf fields and there are others who have experience in public golf fields. Either way, the game is a total luxury that adds a good reputation to both the person's social status and image. One of the biggest reasons this sport is considered one that is mainly for the wealthy folk is how much the game makes a person spend their money. Playing golf is not as easy as just walking in a bowling alley to have some fun or sprinting around a football field. There are several expenses when it comes to the game. It doesn't take just hundreds of dollars but could go up to thousands of dollars per game which for most of us would be considered a waste because of the way we earn. Being a member of anything could cost you quite some money compared to the others. And that goes for the old sport too. Golf membership could cost you a pretty good deal. But if you're not cautious about the amount of money it would take, you've got nothing to worry about. Golf gear including hats, golf shoes, bags, trainer gears, driving gear fee, rain gear and let's not forget the hundreds of dollars one has to pay in order to play a single round alone. Hey, and if you are someone who keeps messing up at the game, you probably know that those golf balls don't come at a reasonable price either. To put it in simpler words, being able to play several rounds of golf, be it on a private or a public field, could be a very clever way to show how well off you are in life. To spend thousands of dollars on golf equipment, a couple of hundred bucks on a driver and another thousand bucks for every fundamentals of golf, you either have to be born rich or have to have enough money to spend it on the elegant sport without a care. It's crazy how much even the most rudimentary requirements could cost you more than thousands of dollars worth of money. Only after a long hunt to find bats at a decent price will you actually succeed. Sometimes it would be even wise to consider buying second-hand golf gear at better prices. Second-hand ones are not always a bad idea. Sometimes it could just be from one of the spendthrifts who have decided they're too tired of the old bats, while they toss those away to spend more money on newer ones. You could always be smart and go for the ones at reasonable prices. But the golf gear and apparatus don't even account for half the amount of money you would have to spend on the sport. Contrary to the belief that many people have, golf is not as easy as just whacking a tiny ball into a hole. The whole game is an art. An art that can be mastered mostly if one is born with perfect aiming, posture and control or one that has been taught to master the sport. And guess what? And taking golf lessons is nothing as cheap as the football lessons and swimming lessons that most common folks attend. The more time you spend learning on the golf field, the more you will actually have to cash out money. And here's the toughest part. You have to be consistent with your practice or else before you know it, you will lose your touch in the game. To dumb it down, what that means is once you start spending in golf lessons, there's really no going back unless you lose interest in the sport and don't want to play anymore. This is probably one of the biggest reasons people who don't live wealthy lives stay away from golf. Even classes every 5-10 to 10 days cost a huge sum of money that could not be in any way reasonable to spend. Another thing is the arena in which you play the sport. The more you pay, the better an experience you will get to have. Golf requires a well-done stable greenfield arena. And if you think you can just pay your way into the court and pick whatever land it is you want to play on, you are absolutely wrong. Even the players you decide to play could vary with different prizes depending on which is better than the rest. This is where the sad reality comes to light. No matter how much we hate the saying, the quote, you get what you pay for, has never felt more real than this in this case. 
Once someone manages to make it onto a golf court every now and then, they might get a sense of wealth, right? Believe us when we say this, that sense of wealth does not last very long. In fact, if you're making it to the golf court, the next thing that you would feel is a requirement would be the fortune of joining a golf membership, a group formed for the elite to play the game. And of course, this could come at two times or even four times the price of what a normal round of golf game could charge a person. But one thing that we must not forget to mention is that how these membership clubs may come at a hefty price. They also have several luxury benefits to satisfy their members. It may sound silly at first, but golf courses that are well grown and done and quality sand traps can really level up the standard of your game to an extent that you would never feel like going back to the old ways of playing golf. For the wealthy, it's not about just playing the game. The very knowledge of being able to excel at the sport could lead a great advantage and sense of dominance as this is not your average sport. This is golf, the game filled with pride and elegance. The competition is also pretty tight, with most part of the crowd being filled with extraordinarily rich folks who may have a fierce sense of competence. It's obvious it's war on the green course. But not only does the game mean wealth, it's also important to maintain that image on the course. Nobody on the field would be satisfied by not being last. All of them aim at being the best among the best. That is something that everyone can learn from. Though the game may be highly unreasonable at times, a takeaway from here is just like them. We can also strive always to be the best at whatever we venture into. After all, nothing bad can come out of effort and determination. So what we can conclude with here is that when golf is labeled as a game for the rich and wealthy, the statement is not entirely false. But let's hope that things don't stay that way. This sport should be made accessible to anyone who desires to play it and just not to those who want to do it because it's high reputation among rich people. For those of you who have come to terms with the fact that you're not going to find the game even slightly interesting and it's just overhyped, that is mildly true as well. In the end, sports should be available to all those who have a passion for it and not only those who can spend more. So those were the few reasons why golf is considered to be a game for the rich and why many celebrities and rich folk indulge in the activity. That's a wrap for today's video guys. We hope you enjoyed watching it and found this video informative. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to our channel right away. Also don't forget to press the tiny notification bell on the side to stay notified on all our upcoming content. Thanks for watching fellas, we'll see you in the next one.